everybody back for another model building workshop and I'm gonna continue uh, <laughs> trying to speak properly let's try to do that first then after that <laughs> hey bloopers happen right anyway getting back to the D7 fighter plane from World War one this thing arrived late in the war and again it was quite the adversary for the uh, Allied aircraft Although I guess the Southworth Camel was an effective fighter. Yeah. But I, I believe there was a clause in the Treaty of Versailles that ended World War I that they had to, the Germans had to get rid of this airplane and give all of the technology to, I guess, the British. Anyhow. And uh, I have another example here of a World War I plane I built a while back. This is getting dusty and old. This is an albatross. But I love the colors on these things, huh? Isn't that fun? It's kind of fading on the top. It was a purple and green camouflage on top. And it's it's interesting because, I mean, the airplane, had, World War I was uh, 1914 to 1918. The airplane was what 1903 so it was pretty early in the age of aircraft and this is the beginning of figuring out camouflage from flying at different heights what the ground looked like below and you would kind of get some of those weird purple colors when they uh the moisture and whatever in the atmosphere would give these weird colors from the air so some of the camouflage patterns are really fascinating or the lack of like this one and, and even this one if you want to do that color scheme right so anyway uh this is where we are from last time so i got this part of the plane together you know the struts are going to go on here afterwards but i, I kind of want to avoid that for now and get to that later so this is where the model gets for real this is when i got to try to put these struts on and then get the top wing on and I'm a tad nervous about that. So I may want to get silly putty may, may be needed for this. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Because I don't know how well I'm going to be able to hold all of this stuff together at once. And that's going to be the challenge. Okay. So this diagram is pretty awful. So I think if I do this with kids, but we'll see how this goes as I start to uh, start this process, getting his wings together, uh, how this is all going to work out. Because the diagram is pretty rough. What I've done in the past in the model building workshops is I've taken this to the photo photocopier and I've blown it up, enlarged it, so you can get a better look at it. And I think that would be a good idea for this because that's miserable <laughs> but i think if it was big you know like this big you might be able to see the parts better uh so i've done enough airplanes i might be able to figure this out at this scale at this size so let me see in any case i'm going to get the top wing i cut that from this tree here and then we've got all of these little tiny struts to put on yeah, I mean, the whole rest of the model is basically struts and support brackets. Okay. So, let's try to get this yeah. off of here. this I want to clean it well now because once this is on the plane it's going to be so fragile it's going to be hard to do any other work with it although that albatross is fairly sturdy sturdy yeah <laughs> Here. 
connected this to the tree you know, on a round angle, so it's making it a little challenging. And again, underneath has a bunch of flash, extra plastic from the molding that kind of needs to get out of the way. So that's going to somehow sit above here. We have all of these brackets and struts. Ugh. Minus 14. That's going to be 15. 18 and 19. Where's 18 and 19 supposed to go? Sixteen and seventeen, eighteen and nineteen. They all go up front. Wow, there's a lot of struts here. Let's see if I can start with sixteen and seventeen because they go on by the engine. That's on this tree, right? Yeah, it is. Are we ready? <laughs> Woo wee! Let's see how this goes. All right, 17 is on this side, so I'm going to try. Okay, ew. No, this is 16. Let's try to get. All right, that one is 16. I think that's going to go over there. 17 is going to go over here. Let's turn this around. Got swallowed by the carpet monster. We don't want that happening. All right, this is 17. So, do, 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 do. which direction does the. Looks like it goes like this. Okay. Pin there and a pin here, and there's another. Okay, kind of get the idea. So there are pins in this piece. We'll trim this up closer, but it's hard to see something that tiny. So. There's that. I need to find number 19. No, 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 19. Where is it? There it is. Today I got a different hat on for another airplane. This is for witchcraft. This is a B24 that's owned by the Collins, Collins Foundation. And I'll make a shorter story out of this. So back in September, well, they were doing a national um, tour. And they came to Rhode Island in September with Witchcraft as a B-24. They had a B-17, which is a Ye Old Pub, was the name of that one. And uh, a B-25 and a few other airplanes. And if you bought tickets you could get a ride on these old aircrafts this is an old world war ii bomber actually i ended up buying a model to build of one of them that's the b24 from world war ii so it was a plane like exactly like this one uh which is witch witchcraft and i decided i i couldn't get tickets to go on the b17 uh ye old pub because it was sold out and I really wanted to go on that one because my uncle flew a B-17 and I wanted to experience 
flying in one because my uncle did during the war and it, my uncle was eventually shot down uh, he survived in a prison camp and I'll tell you that story some other day uh, but anyway so there was still room to fly on this type of plane the B-24 you know witchcraft and I did fly in that back last September and it was an amazing experience but also kind of scary um, and I could post pictures of that on this page at some point in the future of uh, my ride in that but the the sad story is, is shortly uh, after that a few weeks after that when those planes were in Connecticut uh, offering rides the B-17 uh, yield no it's 909 I'm getting the name wrong 909 was the name of it. Yule Pub is another plane. I'm sorry. 909 was the uh, the B-17, and well, sadly that plane crashed in Connecticut when it was giving people a fly a flight, and a lot of people unfortunately died. So, yeah, yeah, you never know. You never know. All right, uh, getting back to this plane. The D seven. All right, let me see if I can get. I want this to stick, but not. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. There's a nice notch underneath. Uh, the pin over here on this part, so it looks like a good spot to lock this particular piece in. So there's a pin that goes down in the bottom hole here. Oh, yeah. That somehow goes there. All right, so this must come out a bit. Oh, I have no idea what kind of angle that's supposed to go on. I'm assuming it's going to go out that far. I have no idea. <laughs> Hope it goes like that because it's fitting, right? <laughs> and yeah, this this picture is kind of no help at all. Give me a sense of angle. Let's hope. Um, so let me get part 18 ready because uh, I'll be rocking and rolling pretty quickly here. That up a little bit. Flatten that out a tad. Okay. Here's the hoping, right? Yeah, we'll do a little flash on that, which hopefully I better take care of because that might get in the way of that sitting up in the wing afterwards. Okay, let's get this. Normally when I build a model, I, I would have music playing, but since we're filming, it's kind of hard to do that. Yeah. I didn't cut this out very well. I was like, I cut part of the piece off. Yeah, it could have been done a lot better. Looks like I can cut the pin. Left it on the tree. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Accidents will happen. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, it's because I'm putting it in the wrong hole. <laughs> Helps to pay attention. Which apparently I'm not doing a good job of that right now. Yeah, see, suddenly it starts to work when you put it in the right spot. <laughs> Alright, so. Ah, Alright, wait a minute. A little bit off. 
because of my lack of a pin here, I think it's supposed to be up a little higher. Oh, good grief. All right, let me see. 2021, where do they, let me see. I'm gonna try to work from the center out and see if that is a good strategy. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. All right, so I've got these other struts, 20 and uh, 21. I need a small one for this one. Yeah, so cutting these out may be the biggest challenge. So I may have to think about how I would prepare these for the children at the library to work on. I may have to cut these pieces off the trees and kind of maybe set them down on some masking tape with the parts down and have them numbered. Or I'd have to cut them for them because I don't know how they're going to do that part. That looks rough. Okay, I just got what was this one? 20. That goes on this side here. I'm hoping I can get this just sticky enough that I can put it in. Yeah, here we go. And it's going to give me some time to be able to mold that into the proper shape. So I can line it up with the wing. So, so far this is cooperating with me, but the big moment hasn't arrived yet. And there's a lot of time for this to oh gosh, go wrong. So, not that I'm a pessimist, but I'm just saying. Oh, you're drooping too much. You're being Senor Drupi from Guadalupe. We don't like that right now. Great cartoon, by the way. Uh, okay. So. Yeesh. That's not the greatest spots to try to work with. All right. And now the screaming and crying begins. <laughs> Let's see. Add some glue to the top of these struts. Big breath. Anything can happen now. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is frightening. Who needs a horror movie when you got this? Okay, yeah, that's going to need a whole lot more work. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> this is starting to answer my question about how would this be for kids? Might be terrible. Uh, yeah, this is not great.
Actually, dramatic music playing right about now. Okay, so they're in, but the angle of this plane is all off. So I have to try to bend the plane into the right shape. Now this is why I was thinking. Ugh. Okay, maybe. It's not be far back. I don't know how far back the top one is supposed to go from the front one. Well, looks like that on this one looks like the front wing is way out. So this do I have any other picture other than that one to look at? Yeah, the front wing is kind of forward of the of the uh, bottom wing, the front wing, <laughs> top wing, bottom wing, <laughs> front back. <laughs> okay, so so there would be a pretty clear. All right, so maybe this may not be that hopeless yet. I'm going to try to get these other uh, struts on the end of the wings and see if this will because I'm upside down. So I might as well look at the instructions upside down so I'll get the pieces in the right place. All right, so 14 is on this end, and 15 is on that end. So maybe, maybe there's hope. Careful to leave the pins on this time, because I kind of cut them off a little too too much on one of these. So some of these pins is yeah, there we go. That's better. Need something to work with here. Do 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 do. Let's see it go. Okay, wait a minute. Looks like that. I hope. I hope I'm not a dope. Again, this glue has been pretty good because it tends to dry quickly, but it gives you some time to work. Try not to scream. Who needs a horror movie? <laughs> All right, let me try my fingers. Ugh. See, in the model building program, fortunately, this has been the moment when we would discover, sometimes to my horror, what profanity children know. And of course, we don't want or allow profanity in the library, but uh, these are the moments when you will hear things. I tend to invent stupid words, silly words, you know, that don't exist because I don't want anybody saying anything remotely offensive, you know? And besides, it's supposed to be fun, right? Which it is, if you just have a cavalier attitude about it. It is working. I'm still not sure how well this is going to go with a kid. That part I'll have to come up with. Because I think I've got six or seven more of these things in my garage for this program. 
but for me to build this, I am seeing where the challenges are going to be. Like this is the tough part. But building it upside down is actually making it doable. And that's something I kind of just, I was just winging it. <laughs> and that was an unintended pun. Uh, <laughs> I'm winging it. I'm winging it. Oh, I'll stop with the silly puns. You know who I like puns? Rapunzel. She told them over and over again, though. Thus, Rapunzel. Okay. I can hear you groaning from here for that joke. I don't blame you. And it was a real groaner, that joke. Okay, that, my friends, I think worked. Is it straight? No, it is crooked. How crooked is it though? It's not that bad, really. Kind of like it white. I might just keep this nice and simple, all white. It's hard enough I really line the top and bottom up properly, but I think that's not bad considering I uh, I thought there'd be more screaming involved. Okay, so the last part would be. I'm not going to do that right this minute. I guess I could, but... Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. The last part now is just putting the wheel part on, which is another two struts, this little tail, uh, yeah, whatever, plane thing here. Uh, and then the wheels go on it, you know, like this one. Because no such thing as retractable wheels back then. It's amazing they got a thing to fly in the first place. All right, it's a little off. But anyway, I'll show you this when I get the decals on it. I'll take a picture or something and uh, I'll show what, what the finished product looks like. And so it's got some possibilities. Uh, it's definitely tricky. I would have to figure out how to instruct the kids to put the struts on or I may get stuck doing it for them. I don't know yet. Like I said, I've got a bunch of these that were kind of unloaded on me from a store that wanted to help out the program. I couldn't really say no, and they are nice, but uh, things to think about. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Um, <laughs> looking like something. Okay, bye now.